all right everybody welcome back to my channel if it flips it ships y'all like that yeah i changed that that was pretty good but anyway um i'm gonna do a what sold you know same old as everybody else but you know me and my faux hawk type whatever i don't know what's going on with my hair but um Brock Lesnar stole my hair, dude. I'm just trying to get it back. Um, I sold 10 things, totaling $195.80 before shipping taxes, eBay fees, and all that good stuff. So, here we go. First up, for a total of $882, the very first three Jason Bourne movies. What you think? I know, not a lot of money, but it's still more than you can get from if you take it to a used movie store i found that out next next up two packages of business card makers you can make your own business cards on your own printer i got ten dollars and some change before taxes ebay fees it's just something i had laying around the dvds you know me um actually those were probably my mother-in-law's but eight dollars is better than you know a buck at a DVD place. So let's see what's next. All right, next up, this is a DVD live concert of Miss Carrie Underwood. She brought me sixteen ninety nine. She is brand new, sealed. A little bit of peeling on the plastic, but it is still sealed. And since it was right next to it. A VHS storage tape. Now a lot of you probably look at stuff like this and think you ain't going to ship it because it's too big. It actually don't weigh too much. I think it's under 3 pounds. People still buy them. Um, I got $28.50 for it. So, twenty eight. I probably paid a dollar for it at a yard sale. So, $28.00. Even after priority shipping, what, 10 bucks maybe? I mean, not a lot of money, but it is what it is. And next, all these were together. That's why I went ahead and picked them. This is a, I'm not going to open it. It, yeah, it's a snowman light. It, the reason I ain't going to open it, it's full of styrofoam. This is a Christmas item that I had listed since November. Um, Twenty-one twenty-five. This was my mother's. I'm not going to use stuff like this at Christmas time. Being in an apartment, I just really don't feel like decorating that much. Um, but twenty-one dollars, it was practically given to me. So, you know, like the VHS thing. I sell VHS tapes, I sell VHS stores, storage, you know, you can sell mostly anything on eBay. Next, three vintage Tupperware measuring cups, one, two, and three. These again were my mother's at one point. This is stuff my mother-in-law uh, put in a pile for me to have. Um... I don't want to get started because I'm really bitter about what went down with all that. But this is one of the things. I don't need them. I have enough stuff. I have enough measuring cups. 2719 from zero. And next. All right. Next up. This is a Foreigner album. If you've seen a couple of videos ago, I had a return on this. That's why it's still in the box like this. Um, there it is. I uh, sold it again. I think last time I sold it for 10 with shipping. This time someone sent me an offer for 7 and since it set a while the first time I went ahead and took it. But still better. That is a very good conditioned album. Um, anybody would be happy to have that one in their collection. And next. Next up. This was in my death pile for probably a year. Maybe less. But I'd say closer to a year. Patagonia. Now why I stuck a Patagonia in a death pile. I don't know. It has three pockets. It's got one here. And then it's got the two 
down there. Women's large, I believe it was. Not that all that matters for this video. Medium. Women's medium is about the only thing I'll buy in a medium. I will not buy mediums and large because in men's because they do not sell. Um, got $39.88 for this for something that's been in my death pile and I sold it within the last few days. Why well, was it in the death pile? Next. Next is a pair of suede um, Steve Madden uh, women's size 8 little boots. I don't know if Steve Madden's a good brand or not. I just thought there were some cool boots that somebody would bought. I paid probably about 4 or $5 for them and I sold them for $20, $23. I think that was the offer. I know I had them for more than that. Um, going to Canada, I think. I know they're going global, but I think it's Canada. And the last thing, um, bought this at a one of those $5, $4, $3, $2, you know, bin places. Yeah, I thought it'd sell a lot quicker than it did, and I thought it'd sell for more money. Um, I only got $14.88 for it. Paid five bucks for it. I may have paid less. I may have got it on a day where it wasn't. Excuse me, man. Where'd that come from? But I got it on a day that I may have got it on a day that wasn't five dollars. So not a good buy. I thought it would be. So that's all ten items. I told you the cost of everything in the beginning. I don't feel like going out of sight again. That my hair is kind of doing funky things. But um, yeah, that's another what sold. You know, um, don't be afraid to ship larger items, um, especially when you only pay a buck or two on them, and records, and even out-of-date Christmas stuff. I mean, it's January, and I'm selling Christmas items. So, and if you have your own DVDs you want to sell, that's the way to sell them. I would not suggest buying DVDs and reselling them because you're never going to make your money back. Because, now if you got Blu-rays, you can make more money. But it has to be a good title. But people aren't buying DVDs no more. That's why the, um, oh, the used DVD stores won't give you no money for them because they're stacked up on them because nobody's buying them. Guess one day maybe they need to have a penny sale and just sell a bunch of them. But that's their problem. I don't have that problem no more. So if you like this, give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. I'm trying to be a little more enthusiastic. It's, it's, trying to be more excited in my videos. Maybe you like it. Maybe you don't. Shout out to Olympus Athletic Club here in Murfreesboro. Um, that about do it. Uh, I've gotten everything sitting here. I'll pack it up, head to the post office, get it out today. Y'all have a good one.